In this lecture, we're going to talk briefly about PEX. PEX is another tubing system. It is a, a semi-flexible tubing that um, in its white form looks a lot like PVC. We're looking at a curved piece here because I trimmed this off of a 100-foot um, roll. If you're using it for repair purposes, I wouldn't recommend you get it in the rolls because it will stay a bit curved like this, and you can eventually straighten it back out for your purposes, but um, it just takes a minute. You probably need to let it sit in the sun for a minute to get soft. But um, generally, I would use the sticks, and you can get this in white. It also comes in red or blue. And in new home construction these days, you'll see the red and blue, obviously, to correspond with hot and cold water. And the desired method for people who use PEX a lot is to use crimp-on clamps. And I've got a picture here of the fittings. You can get a, a crimper that will crimp on the clamps for this. It's about a $100 tool, and it requires a double crimping movement to adequately seal this thing up, so watch out for that. But if you're using PEX a lot, if you're a plumber or you deal with plumbing systems, I would go ahead and get the PEX crimper. But if you only deal with it a few times a year like me, you'll probably want to use the internal compression fittings. I have a shark bite here, but it comes in a number of different names. There's Gator Bite, there's other companies that are making these internal compression fittings. And we'll talk about these more in depth in another lecture, but these are just a great way of dealing with PEX. It's quick, these are a little expensive. Let's say a, a comparable version of this and just a regular PEX crimp on fittings would probably be around a dollar or less. And this one I think is about eight dollars. So they're a little expensive, but they're a great solution. And um, just be aware that PEX is a CTS sized tubing. That means it is a copper tubing size. So the outer diameter of PEX matches up with the outer diameter for copper. So basically, you use these type of internal compression fittings for either PEX, copper, or CPVC. Some of it comes in CTS size and you can use it with that, but be careful with CPVC. It also comes in iron pipe size. So it may not quite fit. It's just a little bit different than this. But when you encounter this in white, and it's in a trench, maybe for a main line going to a house, it'll fool you. Um, the first couple of times that I saw PEX when it started proliferating in the business, I thought it was just an, a weird size of PVC, and it took a few minutes and a little bit of research to figure out what I was dealing with. Because I would put a regular PVC fitting on, and it wouldn't fit. It'd be a little too large for this. And then I realized what I was dealing with. And these days, PEX is what you commonly see in use on a job site for new construction, whether for residential or commercial. So just wanted you to watch out for that. And like I said, if you deal with it all the time, I would get a crimper. But if you're only dealing with it a few times here and there and having to tap into supply and irrigation system, I would use these style of internal compression fittings to deal with it.